My conversation today with Alex, the CEO of Profit Wales, an e-commerce growth agency, focused on product launches and the challenges involved in launching new products on Amazon. Alex explains that the private label model is no longer effective due to the increased Amazon commissions and expensive Amazon PPCs. Instead, he recommends launching brands outside of Amazon and using platforms like TikTok and Instagram to drive traffic with influencer marketing. Alex emphasizes the importance of researching and developing unique products and selling the idea rather than just the product features. He also mentions the need for a higher profit margin to cover advertising costs. Another key insight that Alex provided is that driving traffic from outside platforms to Amazon can improve organic ranking and CPC costs. We also discussed the role of influencers in driving traffic and the need to create authentic and engaging content. Alex highlights the significance of understanding customer preferences and adapting your products and branding accordingly. Additionally, he advises against relying solely on Amazon and suggests diversifying sales channels. I was really impressed with Alex's knowledge and the tips provided in this episode are invaluable, so let's dive in. Welcome to the Ecom Pulse, your heartbeat to the world of e-commerce. I'm your host, Eitan Kotter. Join us as we meet with industry leaders, marketing experts, and the innovative minds behind the tech that is shaping the e-commerce future. So plug in, gear up, and get ready for a pulse-pounding journey into the heart of e-commerce. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the hey. show. How are you? Great. It's a sunny day in Los Angeles. Really? How was it? Is it getting better, the weather? Perfect? Yeah, yeah do you know, like, uh, I have a boring place when you have at least, uh, maybe, I feel like, 60 days with sun a year. Uh, uh, yeah. When you have, like, two, 300 plus days a year with sun, you're like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> nice yeah. So tell us, about, tell us about the 60 days of sun in a year. I think your background is very interesting. Uh, do you know, like, I have my own theory. It's just theory. Uh, people who born in Russia, Ukraine, and like post-Soviet, they you know this uh, type yeah. of countries, they cannot be happy people. <laughs> because when I first <laughs> time I come in California, and I saw there's a lot of people coming like around me, and everyone is smiling. I'm like, <laughs> how many people are you smiling? On? Like, why, yeah, why, well, are you smiling? Why, why everyone is smiling? Yeah. <laughs> and now I understand. What, what are you <laughs> taking? I want also this. I want it also, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now I understand this because you have every day you have sun. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you grow up in place, when you every everything is gray, so you don't need to smile. Yeah. <laughs> you don't smile this much. So you said that the weather is influencing your uh, mm-hmm. behavior, your mood, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, okay. So how do you find uh, Los Angeles? Uh, when I arrived here, my first, you know, like opinion was, what the fuck, where are you, where are you, why, why everything is so expensive, why everything is so, like, bad, because, for example, in Ukraine, for money, what you spend in Los Angeles, you can, like, rent a huge house, yeah. have a much better food, like, 10 times much better food in best restaurants, mm-hmm. and in Los Angeles, everything, like, I was saying, why, why it's so, or over promoted you know <laughs> you're not that great how america promote but now for one and a half year living it's every day it's become better and better wow you nice. need to know great places do you know ah uh, okay you need to know where to go yeah you need to know where to go 100% <laughs> got it awesome. got it great Alex. so tell us a little bit a little bit about yourself your professional mm-hmm. background how do you come yeah. started started in e-commerce yeah, so I, I feel all my background mostly in e-commerce because I started doing e-commerce when I was 15. It was wow. my first e-commerce business <laughs> in Ukraine. And honestly, I fucked up. To, and I, I, after I have some other e-commerce brands and the game fucked up. <laughs> and my first <laughs> e-commerce brands was uh, uh, Amazon Business. We started doing Amazon is my partner in 2016. He went to US. He was studying here like a student, and he called me like every day. Hey, Alex, here's a they don't call mine. We should try. It's a called Amazon business. And, like wow. everyone bring it there. Uh, Something new right is uh, catching fire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should catch this fire, uh, and uh, we did that. And that was super success. We found the product in Ukraine. This product was a scratch map. 
scratch map of the world. You can like scratch places when you've been. And the okay. funny stuff, we was selling this product for years. And in one day we get banned for National Geographic because uh, Amazon uh, National Geographic have trademark for our scratch map and of US rules, you should to uh, like give all money from first day, whatever you start business to owner of trademark. Whoa. <laughs> a national geographic blog has been deleted for business <laughs> one day. Okay. Uh, wow. We didn't know that because we was manufacturing this product in Ukraine and our manufacturer still a uh, national geographic design. And we didn't know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. we lost our business, but it's fine. It's fine. We had our Okay. Side. That yeah, was, uh... All of this time, uh, my background was like Google AdWords specialist. My background was uh, I started working in a huge company like Google AdWords script developer. Uh, and I was developing a few scripts, what I was selling. And then one day I implement my scripts to Amazon and it started working super well, like even more than expecting. And we were struggling with the money because we was doing all two two kids from a little city in Ukraine called Chernitsi. We didn't have money. We didn't have like rich, rich uh, families. And we need to, we was selling like hundred units a day when we can afford only 500 units for all of my money. You know, yeah. Yeah, was, <laughs> where do you take money? Where do you take money? And yeah. in Ukraine in these days, it's become a huge community of Amazon sellers. That was thousands of Amazon sellers because everyone started sharing this model, like everyone making a lot of money and it's become, you know, era of uh, Ukrainian you know, sellers. Yes. When we start selling our, uh, my software, and uh, it's in one day, it's become super huge. We had 100 plus clients and we, I was overwhelmed. We had you know, one employee. Wow, nice. Uh, and uh, we start build software from this. And we didn't stop for now. We are Amazon partners. We manage over a billion in revenue. Wow. Uh, yeah. Really? And we're working together with Amazon, still developing software and other stuff. Long story short, yes. And right now yes. I'm launching new, my few new brands also. Mm -hmm. Which fields? Uh, it's vegan proteins, supplements like sleep gummies, protein gummies. Okay. So, what's the best strategy these days to launch new new products? How yeah. do you do that? Do you know? Here's the funny part. For all my Amazon experience, even I'm Amazon partner and I have access to all API data, you know, like we, have, we see how every, how every niche is working. We have a lot of clients who is like 100 plus million and we know how they perform. And with all my experience, I do not launch my brand in Amazon. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because, because I feel right now the private label model is dead. What do you mean? Um, I will explain the problem. Okay. Here's two things. First, it's uh, Amazon commissions. Mm -hmm. For the last five years, it's doubled. Everyone knows it. Yes. Uh, like Amazon commission doubled. And if you don't have like 40% margin product, you can afford, you cannot afford Amazon commissions in start when you start. Second, a huge problem is Amazon PPC. Because Amazon have changed their algorithm and they, and they limited traffic to new sellers. Even if you're like new seller and you want to put like hundred thousand to Amazon advertising, Amazon will limit for you advertising placements and will limit for you traffic what you will achieve. And right now, price for the click is super expensive. For example, for my vegan protein, in top of search for first position, I need to pay from six to eight dollar per click. Like I have mm -hmm. margin fifteen dollar, and I don't have conversion fifty percent, so yeah. it's no way how I can afford uh, competition with existing sellers. Even the problem is the review. A lot of sellers who was starting in two thousand fifteen, they have like a lot of opportunities how to bring a review to their listings. Right now, you have only great tactics, or you should to get organic reviews, and it's much expensive. And they did that in two thousand fifteen, and it's no way how you can beat these competitors in Amazon. So for me, Amazon right now, it just for launching brands, it just wasting of money because you will absolutely lose your budget 
when you can move this budget to place when you can bring traffic much better. And I was looking for all my clients, for other brands, and I was looking for success studies who launch a brand in 2024 successfully. And honestly, almost nobody did that. Only mm-hmm. few my friends and few guys who did something new, bring new idea to the market, they launched their brand successfully. And they did that outside of Amazon. Using okay. uh, using existing platforms, what what didn't have that much competition like Amazon. Uh, and for example, if you look was, want to look for success launching last brands, you have few brands in the market. For example, like Little Death, Doctor Squash, True Classic, uh, Bloom Nutrition. It's huge brand who launch their brands outside for Amazon with their own audience and bring their traffic to Amazon and they become bestsellers. So they show new strategy, how you need to launch your product in 2024. And it means you should to start from D2C. You should to create product, not just a regular product like that was strategy in 2015. You just go into China, found some products, maybe fix little problems, put your label and all in, you're a millionaire right now. It's not working. You should to create mm-hmm. something new. You need to innovate product or you need to innovate idea because you're not selling the product. You're usually marketing, you're selling the idea. For like little example, for example, umbrellas. Uh, you see like thousand umbrellas in market, but like a customer, you will buy only one umbrella. And if that's become come great for you, you will touch this and say, oh, it's great umbrella. But you will never know that you have some other umbrellas with much better in, the, in market than this because you will not buy like 10 umbrellas. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're selling usually idea of product. And these brands like Dr. Squash, what they name, Dr. Squash, Little Death, School Nutrition, they sell idea. Dr. Squash sell idea like, uh, you know, shower, gels, cosmetics, soap for men, directly only for men. Little Death, like water is killing. It's not... Uh, and they say, marketing idea, Bloom Nutrition's father's brand. Hey, create this brand because to our, to us and like every every of these brands create some idea. Mm-hmm. And they start to sell this idea outside of Amazon in TikTok, Instagram, in direct, in, in bring traffic direct to their old platform. And they start doing this successfully. And I have right now idea if you can create your D2C brand successfully, it's super easy to launch this brand in Amazon. Because if you can afford outside traffic, Facebook advertising, TikTok advertising, that means you will easily beat every competitor in Amazon. I will explain why. Here is a problem in Amazon Flywheel. In Amazon, you have your Amazon have his own traffic. And Amazon sharing this traffic between competitors. When you bring in some new traffic for Amazon, Amazon, it's new existing traffic would bring in direct sales for you because customer is going to buy direct your brand. And you start performing much better than competitors who are already using only existing Amazon traffic. And Amazon start to move in traffic from this competitor to you. And it's much easier for bring come much higher, become higher position in organic ranking than you will do just start regular in Amazon. And Blue Nutrition show great uh, sort of... Do you know brand Blue Nutrition? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they had a great story in Amazon. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe you saw that. They was doing Amazon great. They become the sellers. They beat every competitor. They beat mm-hmm. like guys who was selling this product 10 years in Amazon. They beat them easily. And they was doing like some great st- stuff with reviews. Old trick, buy one, get one for free. Yeah, and I know they are not Amazon sellers. They didn't know that Amazon can buy for them, you know. And they was in Amazon, Amazon even partnership with them, and they was they bought banner uh, for six hours banner in first page in Amazon for like I don't remember like million dollars something around wow. this price. Yeah, and when Amazon uh, finds that they buy and reviews, Amazon block Bloom yes. Nutrition. Like top sure. one seller in some and and they'll say no, it's our policy. You get banned like a record okay. seller. Okay, and, Alex, short pause, short pause, yeah. because I have millions of questions. We will continue uh-huh. with with the story, but let's. Yeah. I just want to understand mm-hmm. exactly what 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 you're saying. What you're saying is that it used to be easy. You you were just in the old days. 
you put few product listings and you know everything clicked and worked right yeah what right. has this... changed is it the competition the price of advertising discoverability has changed uh -huh. what what has changed during this uh like this year, every this year? market right now established every like you cannot find this you know blue oceans with the niche okay. existing right now in Amazon, so you mean mature market already saturated yeah, yeah. it's set it's set really market is okay. set right now for me like mm -hmm. maybe you can find something but you got lucky in this case uh and it's set by two categories every market first cheap chinese products and you cannot compete with the price because every time in chinese you will they have like more capability they can bring more stock and it's no way how to you compete with chinese sellers and it's right now more than 65 percent of amazon already yeah sellers. yeah um and second you have brand story for example you come into you want to buy a wallet you will see like cheap wallet for 15 bucks but china do great quality even for 15 bucks you will get great quality products or you can see like brand wallet for 40 bucks and you will think, okay, I want to buy great wallet for great price and receive great brand wallet. So, and you have these two types of products. First, you cannot afford. It's no way how you will compete with Chinese sellers. And second, mm -hmm. you need to compete with the brands. And when you compete with the brands, you need to compete with some idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And also you mentioned that you need at least 40% margin, right? That's all. Mm -hmm. At least just to finance, you know, cost of uh, commission yeah. and advertising, right? Of course. So this disqualify probably a lot of products, right? That mm -hmm. uh, uh, so the product categories are shrinking. Yeah, because uh, and a few years ago, twenty percent margin was okay, but okay. Amazon commission right now is doubled. What was the logic for them beyond you know just uh, obviously make more money? But what they are trying to do in terms of doubling commission and increasing advertising CPMs for Amazon. Uh, are they trying to clean, you know, the the bad brands? Clean no, this, make I, it I more. Feel like Amazon become more established, and uh, it's they have their own traffic, and it's traffic not going from Amazon, and it yeah. do not hurt customers. It's only hurt sellers. Yes, but sellers still still doing money, not that big. And I feel Amazon don't care in this case. About okay, so if I had like fifty k per month on advertising mm -hmm. on Amazon, maybe five years ago. Now mm -hmm. this 50k probably not enough to generate the same amount of sales. 100 plus k should be right now. You need double at least, right? No, you need advertising budget more. Like five years ago, you should you can have like 10,000 k. Right now it's 100 k, not not less. Yes. Are doing yes. Amazon advertising? Okay. So what is more costly? Do you think? I mean, launching on Amazon and and paying whatever we you know de describe right now, uh -huh. or paying a lot on acquisition on your Shopify store or your e-commerce store, right? I mean, My what are the alternatives? Your, like, when you start doing your rent in uh, Shopify, for example, you will prefer to prove your idea. Because before to start to sell your product in Amazon, you need to be 100% sure that your product will be great. You, you will have four and like 4.3 star reviews in Amazon. For example, if you have damaged packaging uh, and that will arrive to your customer in D2C, you will know mm -hmm. this problem and you will fix this problem before you start selling Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. So you, um, you mean all the product market fit and the matureness of the entire operation, sure. do that outside of Amazon and, one, mm -hmm. and, and then... You do all tests, you improve your product, you do like you know, some iteration to improve your product and you get honest customer reviews. In Shopify store, you're trying to sell your product outside of Amazon. If mm -hmm. you can do ROI at least one, for example, if your profit, 40% uh, margin, your product cost $40 and like you can sell your customer acquisition cost can be less than $40 in outside of Amazon. That's meaning you will, you will do great in Amazon. Okay. Because you can bring your traffic from the to Amazon. Exactly. And I want to ask you about the scenario that you've mentioned. So you have a probably a meta advertising or you have your own email mm -hmm. subscribers or whatever traffic that you have. And now you're bringing into Amazon, right? So you, you just... The way it works is is just you're creating your marketing campaigns outside of Amazon, and then you're bringing those yeah, users onto the product first, page on Amazon. Sorry, of course. First, you're building everything outside of Amazon. Yeah, you 
test your idea, bring traffic, test some creatives, test some ways how you bring in traffic to your D2C. For example, it can be influencers, it can be Facebook advertising. You like mm-hmm. prove your idea. And okay. when you did this proof and you earn it, even you do zero, like zero in profit, you can start bringing this move, just switch this traffic to moving your D2C site to move it to Amazon. Okay, so, and what happens? So Amazon knows to identify that there is inbound traffic to your product mm-hmm. pages. Yeah. What happens in the Amazon algorithm right now? Yeah, like when you bring it for Amazon algorithm, it's new traffic what you bring for Amazon. And you bring in more revenue per per product for Amazon than bring in other competitors. And when you bring in more revenue per product, Amazon improves your organic. And it's traffic what comes directly for you. It's not Amazon traffic. And Amazon improves everything even you will have better CPC costs. So inbound to Amazon, traffic inbound to Amazon will improve your CPC cost, you improve your discoverability on yeah. search, because, will improve, yeah. Yeah. In my experience, Amazon working with some hidden, of, hidden algorithms, what I call like mm-hmm. total revenue per product, and revenue per click, revenue per impression, revenue per product, and it's count everything, referral fees, storage fee, advertising fees, everything. And for Amazon, like every seller, like pocket of money. If seller A bring me fifty dollars for Amazon, he will be first. If seller B bring me thirty five dollars, he will be second. And it's just line how how money how much money you bring it for Amazon. That's mm-hmm. it. Because Amazon has has his own profit. He don't care. He will get sales sales anyway. If someone look in umbrella, Amazon don't care who, to send like for seller A or for seller B. It doesn't matter. Amazon will have the same commission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Amazon just sort every seller of this priority, how much money you bring it for Amazon. Yes. And also, the, obviously, how much you spend on Amazon as well. Of right? course. Also. And if you didn't prove your idea and if you didn't have a ready product and you launch Amazon and got better views, your brand is dead. You should relaunch that. And it's, again, yes. a lot of a huge waste of money. In your e-commerce site, you can change everything so fast. Like You don't need to wait a lot of time to make it changes. And the most powerful stuff is in uh, customers. So what I was telling about Bloom Nutrition, when Bloom Nutrition get banned, in, in second day, they write a mail to their customers, hey, we get banned in Amazon, we know our problem because of blah, 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 and we will be happy if you will start buying Bloom Nutrition again in Amazon, here is discount. And in second day, they become the sellers. Wow. <laughs> yeah, with zero reduce, you know? Like, it's, okay. I never, for my old, like, almost 10 years experience, in Amazon, I never seen the same story. It's the discount. First time when I saw, like, it's what crazy. was the discount? <laughs> you I know. I don't remember, like, 20% or just percent. 20% of this, you know? yes. And they become with almost zero review, but sellers in super huge supplement niche. Okay. Okay. Like, because so of great. So, I think um, we have a solid understanding. Of, of your of your key theme, right? The, mm-hmm. the the basic foundation of what the way you analyze what's happening right now in Amazon. So mm-hmm. how did how did you launch? You know these uh, these these products that you are currently. Yes. Yeah. So my strategy right now first it's find idea. For example, right now I'm launching a new product. It's uh, buckwheat protein, and I will explain the problem. Um, it's vegan protein powder. Mm-hmm. What's the problem with vegan protein? It's uh, not right body absorption. Uh, when you drink in vegan protein, you don't have right amino acid profile. And when you eat in fish or meat, you will have right amino acid profile and your absorption of protein much better. And yeah. it's a problem with vegan protein, but it's millions of millions of vegans in the world. Mm-hmm. And nobody creating a product will have the same absorption level like meat and fish. And I was looking, okay, what can what can be is a great source of a right amino acid profile, and I find it's only eight vegan products in the world, and one of them is buckwheat. Do you know what is buckwheat? What? Uh, it's in Ukraine. We have grain called buckwheat, and in Ukraine, okay. Russia, it's common food like wow. rice, like rice in you know China or uh, what in the US usually people use quinoa, usually. Yes. Yeah, so like um, in Ukraine, everyone eating buckwheat. Nice. And so you close the loop now for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a close like, loop, honestly. Yeah, because the main stuff, uh, buckwheat have the same amino acid profile like meat and fish. And nobody in, in the world didn't create uh, isolate and protein from this. And I spent one and a half year to create and protein from this. 
and, and, and we did, and we launched our new brand because it's okay. like idea what you can sell to your marketing. It's idea what you can uh, show in marketing to your influencers and other people. Okay. So, First so it's work, like protein would have the same absorption like meat and fish. Yes. So this is obviously the the counter strategy than private labeling. You launch your own yeah. brand, and how? What do you mean launch? What exactly? In which platform? Yeah, so or which? What is the strategy? strategy how do you do that? Private product. Sure. Uh, yeah. Second, what do you, so sec, second? What you need to do? It's proof your idea. When you create this idea, you can. I, I call this dry test. Um, even if you have idea, but you don't have product, you can start to sell your products. I will explain. All of what you need to do is create design, create your Shopify store, and start to bring in traffic for your site. And if you can sell product that not exist, you can do refund. Like if someone will buy you, you're just doing refund. Mm-hmm. That means your idea is great. People will buy your product. So you're doing this dry test. You're proving your idea that your product is great and you will can, can sell it after you start to manufacture your product. And you're doing the same thing, but in bigger, like, in bigger way. Okay. Uh, with more profit, with more advertising, and you're looking for your end in ROI. And if you did ROI more than one, or like 0.8 ROI, that means you will be successful in this brand. Okay, proving the idea and D 2 C. When do you know mm-hmm. it's it's been proven? I mean, is there quantity, when you, volume? When you get the... customer feedback, organic okay. customer feedback. Because may... it's yeah. yeah, when you create your own product, it's you create a new idea. And here is can be some problems in your product. Maybe this will not work. Uh, just example in other niche for vacuum cleaners, for example. That was vacuum cleaners. And everyone was upgrading this, make more power, make wireless, yeah. make the mop to mop the floor. You know, like everyone was upgrading this product. In one day, some guys create a robot vacuum cleaner. And this become a huge niche. Yes. But they prove this idea that it will work and people will buy it. It sounds interesting. So, and only how to launch it's for me it's only one way how to launch brand right now in, with not huge investments you still okay. can launch like regular brands regular cosmetic brands but you need to a lot of investments like from million to million per yeah. how but do what? you bring traffic for this first phase yeah in first place i'm usually right now using influencers okay because i have i call this I have two types of influencers uh I'm just calling it for today. First, it's UGC creators, users generated content creators. And mm-hmm. second, it's ambassadors. Yeah. For UGC creators, I need just great video what they can post in their like TikTok with an explanation of product because you sell an item again. And like you give face, them kind of a, you give them a discount. Yeah. yeah. You, you give, give them a give coupon them. code or something you identify that the traffic comes from there. Of course, it does little marketing tricks. Yeah. And second, guys, is ambassadors. It's the same type of influencers, but it's a different direction. They promote your product every day, uh, like search, in search base, telling about your products more and more stuff. Okay, so this is kind of a and, more commitment, obviously. Yeah, more... so like in difference between payment structure, for example, for your UGC creator, usually we're just paying for video and post of this video for Ambassadors, you pay him little like little salary and plus like twenty percent of sales, and yes. he has interest to start selling your product more and more. Yeah, right. And he's actually creating videos on a daily basis. Of course. And the, the funny trick here, you have ton of content in this way. When you start working in France, you will get a really ton of contents. Yes. And you just can bring take this content and start to doing Facebook advertising because. Do you know, you you say marketing, it's not about great production video. You have great production video, but it's, you know, advertising in Super Bowl, in UFC, and other, like, when you shoot. No, you want more authentic type of content, right? Yeah. In usual Facebook, Instagram, just regular UGC content working much better. With, uh, like, face and guy who's telling about work. And you can use this content advertising. And you you will have some hooks. I call these hooks when you have some marketing trick, like how you bring your traffic. For example, uh, 
vegan protein would have the same researcher like me. Yeah. And you have this hook. And you start to push this hook on Facebook and looking for results. And if it's not working, you make another hook. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly just the monthly budget for this marketing uh, activities. Yeah. For that uh, initial um, phase. Yeah. All budgets. Uh, first, huge spending is design and product production. Like, yes. Uh, Product production, I mean, not manufacturing. It's like developing your packaging mm-hmm. uh, idea. It can cost from thousand to five, ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I have, for example, like some sort of bad experience in my previous brand. <laughs> I hired super expensive, the best designer <laughs> studio. You know, I have paid. I don't remember more than ten k for them. Yeah, and they create design for me, and I was happy of this design. Really, I was okay. It's, it's great. It's looking great. Okay. Great, great, great. Everything is great. But uh, all of my experience, I know I'm selling product not for myself. I sell it for US customers, and I'm burning Ukraine. And what I like, what I like, usually uh-huh. Americans didn't like. For yeah. example, just clothing. Everyone in Ukraine wearing black, gray. Do you know? Dark colors. Yes. In California, you will never see guy in black t-shirt <laughs> in the street. Do you know? Like. <laughs> And the, the funny stuff, if you will create black style bread, that will not work in the US. Yeah. Because they like more colorful. And I, you have uh, you have some sites called Pikfu or Italavi when you can buy American opinions. And I took my design and I put my product to Pikfu uh, and pick my three best competitors and ask them who you will buy and why. And my product mean only four percent. Wow! <laughs> like, and it was oh no, oh no, oh, no like it's no way <laughs> I cannot log this product in Amazon. It, it, it's no way. Uh, it's a dead brand. Like, if it, it's uh, and interesting. I, wow! You know, said and I come to Behance. It's platform and you can hire uh, designers. Yes. And I hire three designers and say like I'm paying five hundred bucks. Uh, if you will, uh, if your design will be in competition between these three brands, I will triple your price. <laughs> nice. I'm like a random designer uh, from uh, like random designer, uh, he create product uh, product page between sixty four percent, like four percent, sixty four for huge, cheap price. Huge. Okay, you learned this. <laughs> yes. So you need to prioritize yeah, again. Okay. And in terms because of the market, your product, but it's mean not everybody will love. Yes, it. you don't fall in love with the product. Fall in love mm-hmm. with what uh, customers' with pains and customer expectations. Yeah. And in terms of the marketing budget, like the monthly budget, I mean, for these influencers yes, and ambassadors, no, what, what should this... be? Sorry. Like, uh, first budget is like 10k is this test design and proof of art. Yes. Second budget, what you need to move, it's like thousand two thousand dollars to create your Shopify store. Even okay. it can be five hundred. Even it can be for free if you do your by yourself. Yeah, so yeah. not big price. And second huge uh, price, it's like from ten to fifty k to prove your idea with influencers. Because um, for if you're looking for TikTok algorithms, you need to do a lot of videos. You don't need to post short videos a month. You need to post thousand videos a month. Yeah, to become model working. And it's cost a lot. And usually you can post 150 videos and only one will shoot before you find this great marketing hook. And you need to bring more budgets every time. So it can be from 10K to 50K. And yes. after you prove your idea, you should have the other budget next to make big manufacturing order. It can cost depends on product. Second, you need to more triple or in quad, quadrant your marketing budgets because you will need to start selling the stocks that you will buy. Yeah. So it's like three phases. Sure, sure. By the way, it's an amazing process. It doesn't have doesn't have to work only for new startups, but it can also work for established yeah. brands who want to launch new products, right? Or new ver- ver- variants yeah, exactly. or new version, right? So I test feel- the water. The main problem right now, if you in 2015, you can bootstrapping. Do you know what is bootstrapping? Sure. Yes. Bootstrapping your business uh, in Amazon, you just order a little, sell, order more, sell. Right now, it's not this strategy not exists. Yeah. Amazon e-commerce business, it's about cash flow. 
You need to you put the dollar to... before you, you see the dollar. Yeah. Of course. And uh, <laughs> to, if your Amazon competitor selling 1,000 units a day, you should to sell 1,001 unit a day. And if you're like losing your stock and become uh, out of stock, you were dead. Yes. So it's yeah. right now it's business about cash flow. Got it. Alex, very, very interesting. Anything else you want to add into the no. process or will we cover it's most like of the issues? Main things. Main things. Okay, you so know, really. Other yeah. stuff, other stuff is just technical tricks. How to set up your list and how to do PPC, it's their technical tricks. You can yes. find all the information on the internet, all. But about launching a product, I was trying to find some information. It's not existing right now, nowhere, mm -hmm. because all information that you can find, uh, it's how to launch your business in 2015. Like, yeah. show me how you launched your brand this year. Like, do not show me. Or do you know you can ask some guys who already sell their business to advise, but it's not working right now. This was <laughs> working for him in this time period. Right now, it's different yeah. time period. And you need to have some advice as well, guys who's launching brand right now. Yes. So as a summary, I mean, launch your own uh, e-commerce platform, uh, test the waters and be smart on the marketing activities, mm -hmm. mainly influencers, which will trigger traffic and then go to PPC and probably or Meta. Amazon. Because Amazon yes, still sixty percent of e-commerce sales. You can it, you cannot yeah. lose the channel. You cannot. It's like yeah, it's less mere. It's but it's more huge sales. But then when you do Amazon, you need to do it smart. You need to bring traffic outside from Amazon to Amazon just to make you need to cancel your risks. Because if you're going all into Amazon from start, you have a ton of risks. Yes. So, Alex, how people can uh, can reach you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Instagram. 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 Yeah. Great. So we will share we will share all the details in the show notes. I really, thank you so much for the great value. It was really really interesting, Alex. Well done. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Your support means the world to us. If today's episode has been insightful for you, consider sharing it with someone who would also benefit. Even one share can make a big difference. Looking to elevate your e-commerce game? Discover Vimy, a multi-channel e-commerce platform that will transform your business with the power of shoppable video. Visit us at vimy.net to learn more. It's vimy, V-I-M-M-I dot net. Thank you for being part of our journey. Stay tuned for more invaluable insights in our next episode.